This conference will now be recorded. If I'm if I'm in that group, I'll respond. I mean, uh, if I free, I'll respond. Otherwise, someone I guess uh, you know in our group there are experienced people also there. They are aware basics, right? They are aware TSY. Somebody will respond to you. Okay. Ultimately, you should get immediate response. That is my target. So, otherwise, I am good to start. Any queries before I proceed further? Yeah. So, let me talk about data set. Okay. Uh, today, we were discussing, right? Data set. So, data sets are two types. Okay. We can ca uh, categorize data sets into two types. Non VSAM data sets and VSAM, VSAM data sets. VSAM data sets again. We can uh, divide non VSAM data sets into two types one is physical sequential file, or we call as a flat file, or sequential file that is sequential file or physical sequential file or flat file or we call as a transaction file the second one second one pds partitioned data set so in visa data sets are ksds esds rrds and lds so let me explain high level the differences between both of them and uh, something else also so i told you right in mainframe we use operating system called mvs multiple virtual storage okay mvs stands multiple virtual storage we use uh, this earlier the oldest operating system mvs later the we are using D series operating system, Z, ZOS, D series operating system. So, this is in terms of operating system, and the speed will be calculated millions instruction per second. This is the one I explained in our earlier session. The other one, okay, the other one is tape, okay, tape and dash D. Tape and dash D are the storage devices what are these two are storage devices what are those tape and dash d okay so in our laptop we have a hard disk right we have a hard disk similarly in mainframe we have a tape and dash d these are all the storage devices so this is the oldest storage device type the latest one dash d direct access storage device this is something you should know because in real time in projects you keep talking about storage type and uh, uh, where data set is on dash d or tape so all discussion happens right now so non visam data sets okay i'm talking about differences now non visam data sets non visam data sets are stored can store you can non visam residing can reside non visam residing on either tape or dash d tape or dash d okay so this is the first difference visa data sets resides only on dash d only if you want to store visa data sets on dash d direct access storage device that is not possible that is not possible okay the next one uh okay non visam data sets cannot be used in a css so not it is not going to support 
not support with the not sub not support with the CACS. So you can use you cannot you cannot use non visa data sets or compatibility will not be there data sets with the CACS. So this is compatibility is there. Okay, visa data sets are compatible. Compatible with ACS. This is the second difference. Are you clear? next so we have something called delete okay uh, we have a notepad can i delete a data that is a question right so uh, okay we'll discuss more differences later because if i explain it will become more challenging for the people who are attending first time okay so this is all about these are all uh, few differences between non visa and visa data sets so if you are writing a written test okay if you are writing a written test as you are aware as you are aware nowadays in a companies or few companies are conducting written test as part of their interview process so that time that time this is going to help you all these points are going to help you and it is an interview question if you are having uh, less than three four years experience this type of question generally they should not ask for the people who are having more than <laughs> five years experience or four years experience okay right so next one data set name rules the rules are applicable for okay whatever the rules i am going to explain rules are applicable for applicable for non visa data sets non visa data sets and visa data sets it's applicable for both of them so remember these rules the length of data set name okay length of data set name length of data set name is 1 to 44 characters so which means that maximum data set length is 44 characters maximum length of the data set is 44 characters data set is uh, okay and allowed characters allowed characters okay i mean valid characters are a to z 0 to 9 and we call as a in mainframe national characters or special characters are at the rate hash dollar These are all the characters you can use it. These are all the national characters you can use in data set name. Now, so let's say I am writing something here. It is invalid. Okay, if you see, is it less than 140, less than 1 to 44? Yes, I agree with you. Is it allowed only characters are there? It's okay, it is a valid. Okay. You can write only characters or you can write combination of character and all but why it is invalid team consecutively continuously you cannot write more than eight characters continuously you cannot write more than eight characters so it means that data set name 
data set name is divided into divided into qualifiers so as i said you cannot write like this it is invalid data set name is divided into qualifiers and qualifier rules are qualifier rules are member name the member name of the pds rules are same member name of P, member name of pds rules are same so maximum length 1 to 8 characters okay so qualifier should start with the either character character means alphabetical character or special characters which i mentioned on the above and qualifier can end with the number or character or special character qualifier is qualifier is separated by by dot qualifier is separated by dot okay let me explain now i'll write a dot b dot c so now this is a valid okay i like give explanation also how many qualifiers are there three are there a is the one qualifier b is the qualifier c is the qualifier because how can you say a b c because each one is separating by dot qualifier is separated by dot so in this syntax qualifiers are a b c what are the qualifiers a b c now in this what is the length of the data set now what is the length of the data set so it is including dot a dot one dot is a two three four five the length of the data set name is five characters so while you are counting the name you should include dot also that also counts and what is the high level qualifier okay these are all terminologies high level qualifier is a, a. the first qualifier is called as a high level qualifier low level Low, low level qualifier is what is a C that is the last one low level qualifier right so this is the one example now in main frame usually our data set in generally starts with the user ID it is not necessary but we can we usually will start with the our main frame ID Venkat A Okay. Banka day demo dot file input. Now give me the answers. Okay. I'll write a question here. How many qualifiers? What is high level qualifier? What is the low level qualifier? What is the length of the length of the data set name? If is it valid or not? <coughs> valid or invalid? Give me the answers now, guys. Valid or invalid? Valid. Or invalid? Valid. valid. How many qualifiers are there? Four. 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 What is the high level qualifier? Venkata. Venkata. Venkat A. Okay, Venkata. Whatever you call. It. Yeah. What is the low level qualifier? Input. Input. What is the length of the data set name including dot? Seven. Twenty-three. 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 I'm not counting. See now 
<laughs> the length of data set name is within 44. Very good. And is it now it divided into qualifier? What is the qualifier length? 1 to 8. What is the first qualifier length? Without dot, qualifier length is 7. Second qualifier length is 4. Third qualifier length is 4. Fourth qualifier length is 5. So all are falling under this only. Is it qualifier starting with this character or special character? Yes. All are starting with the character. No concern. Qualifiers can end with any character, right? So it is perfectly fine. Qualifier is separated by dot? Yes, obviously. If it is not separated by dot, we would have got an error. So a dot b dot c dot p dot q dot r. Is it a valid or invalid? Is it a valid or invalid? Valid. Yeah. So you can give at the rate as a qualifier. I said you're right. Qualifier can start this. So hence it is a valid. How many qualifiers are there? Six. How many qualifiers are there? Six. Seven. 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 So total number of qualifiers are seven. What is the high level, first qualifier and high level qualifier? A. Yeah. What is the low level qualifier? R. R. What is the length of the data set name? 13. 3? 13. 13. 13. 1, 6. Okay. Venkat A dot demo 1 dot XYZ. Is it a valid or invalid? Valid or invalid? Valid. Valid. valid yes. Only. Because it can win with the number. Is it a valid or invalid? Invalid. 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 Yes, it is invalid. Why? Nine First high qualifier, qualifier is more than eight. Qualifier is greater than eight characters. Which one? The first qualifier. Think that A dot B dot valid and invalid. Invalid. Why it is invalid? Uh, because third qualifier is starting with a number. Third qualifier is starting Sorry. with a number. So when cut A, J, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, E one two three four five six seven and E one two three four five six seven. Now, which is a valid invalid? What what which is which one is valid? Which one is invalid? The second one is valid. Second one is valid. First one, one is invalid. Invalid. Second one is valid. Invalid. Second one has almost uh, more than 44 characters. If the second one has more than, how come it is 40? No. Oh, no. Oh. It is like, it is 44 only. You count it. Yeah. Oh. Because I ensured that each qualifier maximum I kept as 8. You notice a 1 2 3 7 like if i did not miss any number by mistake then it is 8 8 8 8 how many qualifiers first 2 3 4 5 5 and 8 40 and four dots are there in between so it's a valid if i give eight characters in each qualifier maximum only qualifiers can have if i if i give eight characters in each qualifier 
how many files for two max five maximum five okay any any queries any i hope you are much comfortable now so i'm give me come give me one minute i'm coming Yeah, any queries so far? Good, are you comfortable, everyone? Yes, my friend. Right. So now we'll see how we can create a data set. Okay. The why I explained everything, I want to explain to you how to create a data set. So I'll do login now. Log on. You can write either uppercase or lowercase as I told you. Enter. Venkat A. As I told you guys, don't use Venkat A ID 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Anyhow, you are in the session. So don't do because if you do it, then I cannot use it. So right. I can use Venkat B, Venkat C, but I want to use continuously one ID. Venkat A, user ID, enter. Type the password. So, I typed the password. It is in use. You see that now? It is east. Someone is using. So, now I will use Venkat B. So, now I don't know right who is using. Better you ping in the group so that I can I'll come to know. Venkat B. This one ID is okay. Free. So what we need to do? We have to type ISPF to proceed further. No, I don't want to proceed further. Type log off. So type ISPF. Enter. Now we are on the. Now we are on. Primary screen. Primary option menu. So if you see the screen is what? the screen one screen one how to you how i can open on the screen just like type start you can see now second screen how i can see the first screen press f9 what i did start means to open new screen how i can swap the uh, swap between the screens press F9 okay press F9 we saw till now F3 F7 F8 now we are seeing F9 we'll discuss much later later we'll go again we'll spend some time on it screen 2 okay fine now our target is what ISP a primary option menu so to create a data set on this primary option menu, we have an option called utilities. What is that? We have something called utilities. So type three on command line, hit the enter. Type three, hit the enter. Now we are in utility selection panel. Can you tell me which option is appropriate? I'll give a one or two minutes time. 
which option is appropriate to create second option 2 others do you agree with him what is your option any other opinion yes it's two So we need to type two that is allocate enter. Now on this screen you can do lot of operations. Okay. If you want to rename to the data set, you have to come to this screen only, one option, one approach. Or if you want to allocate, this is the one only you have to use. If you want to delete the data set, we have to enter this one only. When here only you have to come. And if you want to create a VSM data set, we have to come to this screen only. If you want to see the file attributes, what is the meaning of file attributes team? Example, I'll go here. Mm, I'll go right click, right click properties. Mm, sorry, yeah. So these are all the file attributes, right? You see the where is located, size, contains, all. These are all when it got created. We can see <coughs> the properties the space how much it is occupied and done if you want to see that information we can use it okay we can use it so now we want to create an a uh, data set on command line type a a is the one we used to create a data set a then here you can provide the data set name or you can provide as a qualifiers here is up to you okay let me show one or two demos on this so venkat a as I told you, uh, there are some rules I want to set while you are creating the hands-on thing, doing the hands-on. Ensure that the ID which I given you use it and keep your name. Okay. I know if your, your name might be more than eight characters, but you might be having a short name, surname, right? And you rest of the qualifiers up to you. So, so that, you know, if you use same data sets, then if you use same data set name, what I am using, by the way, you cannot use same data set name which I am creating but to understand if you have a doubts in future if I, I can refer by your name easily right so example I will give Venkat A dot so I will give Rahul dot I hope there is no more than one person with the same name I guess no one is there here Rahul you can create other data sets as your wish Venkat A dot Trisha dot ps dot so all is data these are a data set like two qualifiers venkat is if it is venkat a give venkat a when if, if it is a venkat b give like this so that it will be easy for for everyone so that nobody will touch your data sets no confusion between all of us do that way so but i do it like this because your uh, your batch is a 15th batch for me I'll give all I'll follow one standard Venkat A B15 this is a standard which I follow Venkat A B15 and PS1 now tell me if I club all these three is it a valid or invalid assume that all three are there in one line is it a valid or invalid no answer no Is a valid right enter uh, it is asking third qualifier okay let me go here I'll give a, I don't give anything still it is asking yeah 
you see that I did not give dot okay I kept three here I'll press F3 to go back I'll give a you see it. so between all of them automatically dot came Okay, is it clear? Yes, monkey. Now, like this, you can do it. So I'll remove it. If you if you don't remove, it's okay, because if you keep values here and value here, it will take the what you specify here. Now, so uh, I'll give a Venkard A dot P15, RB15, anything I can give. I'll give invalid data set name ABC. If I give invalid data set name, what happens? You see it. Can you see invalid DSN qualifier? The qualifier name is wrong. So, where which qualifier is wrong it doesn't show but you need to know the rules you need to recollect it okay next okay so I'll give more than eight characters as a qualifier, like I'll give A, B, C, A, B, single quotes. So give single quotes. If you don't, if you don't give single quote, what happens? I'll tell you. You see, invalid DSN. So still you're getting the same error. Now, please remember, now you saw the error. If you do mistake, what happens? It rectified. Venkat A, I'll give A, B, C, P, Q, R. Enter. What is happening team did i give the data set name there no i gave only abc.pqr it is taking high level qualifier right so if you don't give single quotes it is going to take by default high level qualifier if you don't give single quotes by default it takes okay uh, a tso user id so tso user id means the user id which you used to do login that is called tso is ready now okay venkat very good i added now still it will take yes still it takes it doesn't matter what is there this one so you see again it is taking venkat b i took it is taken as it is are you clear team so you ensure that how you are giving okay remember how you are giving venkat b dot p14 dot ps1 hit the enter uh, you are getting data set not catalog reason is i should mention what i have to do with this data set first of all it is not there data set you know it is not there so if it is there we would have got the attributes since it is not there it got create not created that's why we are getting data set not catalogued. Not catalogued means it is not created. I will give a, a enter. So you are landed on this page with this data set name. Are you clear how you will give the data set name? Yes, when cut clear. okay now it's very very lengthy from now okay i have to explain theory things for you okay uh, basically for the people again this entire module is for only beginners 
now but i guess for some experienced people also can learn something here something you might be aware something may not be aware but good yeah so you are able to see here we need to fill all of them okay all means it's not all at least few of them there are these are all called parameters okay what is the term we called parameters so management class is a parameter storage class is a parameter volume serial is a parameter volume serial is the parameter device type is a parameter okay and the data class space units is a parameter and the primary quantity secondary quantity directory block record length these are all parameters everything is in a parameter so first i would like to hear from the experienced people the few about few parameters eventually i'll explain it what is volume serial what is volume serial anybody can answer what is volume serial expecting answer from everyone uh, this is a storage block storage block okay okay not getting answers very good no problem so let me spend some time on volume parameter now so uh let's say in your laptop there is a c drive okay e drive f drive like that we have a multiple drives c drive e drive nowadays in all latest laptops you are having c or two drives you know earlier we were having more than four okay eight nine years back in each laptop we will be keeping three four minimal to minimal three minimum four drives we use to keep in laptop now only one or two default is coming and we are not reformatting it that so when i say c drive immediately what it will come to into your mind software installed folders right system os related files installation things configuration stuff everything will be there in the c drive then we have something else e drive f drive right we have something called e drive and f drive so how we have a multiple drives in computer or disk we have multiple drives over here also we call as a volume okay so we call as a volume so the entire hard disk is divided into volumes correct me guys if i do anything wrong if i say anything wrong correct me so you take this is an hard disk that is a dash t direct access storage device you take storage device so this will be done by mainframe admin not, not not by you you need to know how volume serial is coming and all that's why i am giving a clear explanation detail explanation so as i said how we have a drives in laptop our hard disk similarly this is the a drive this is 
this is the A drive. This is the A drive. Sorry, guys. A lot of things. Yeah, A drive. This is the B drive. And uh, C drive. D, E, D, P, P, Q, R. Okay. So we are having multiple drives. Now admin will say that, Hey Venkat, I gave three IDs to you. You, you ask your participants to use only E drive. Don't ask them to use other drives. So, what they do? They tell where Venkat A data should, should be there. Where Venkat B data set should be stored. Why? Why you need to tell that for easy reference? Like why we need to, why, what, why you are telling C drive is for surface? That is how standard we follow, right? Okay, uh, F drive, we will keep educational stuff and another drive, we will keep movies and all, music and all. Yes or no? So, we have a like that. Similarly, here also, there are different volumes. Example, I gave as a A is a volume, B is a volume and C is a volume and all. So, for us, they gave, admin gave the volume serial as a U. SR001. Okay, whenever you are going to create the data set, you should use volume point 0.1. If you don't use volume while you are creating a data set, admin can delete at any moment your data set without informing me, without informing to you. We are authorized that. We told to that admin also, we use it, don't worry. So, it is same instruction for you guys. You have to use USR001 volume only. If you use something else, that's all. Okay. He has a chance. Okay. He has a right to delete our data sets without warning, without information. Okay, so this is all about volume serial. The next one, I would like to ask a few queries to you as everyone is from India. What is your PAN card size? What is, what is the PAN card size? PAN card size, the, you know, PAN card, we have a PAN card number, right? What is the length of the PAN card number? Ten, sir. Ten digits. Ten digits. Ten digits. What about uh, what is the other card? Other card. Uh, what is the other card length? Twelve. Twelve digits. What is phone number in India? What is the length of the phone number? Ten. Ten. So, my question to you, let's say Gopal is our, our, you know, I want to store Gopal's PAN card number, Aadhaar card number and phone number. How many characters will be there in a record, one, one row? I want to store his Aadhaar number, his PAN card and his phone number. What is the size of it? So, basically, 32. so 32, yes. So, we have a... 32 characters, right? 
so one one row is indicates what team one row indicates in mainframe terminology one record one record is a particular customer particular transaction particular you know uh, person particular uh, employee detail something like that so here we have a one employee now if i want to store two employee uh, let's say for, for second for second person for second person how many characters it will takes to store the same data so we stored already gopal's data here that is a 32 i want to store one more person data same length only right because for as a, he is also indian and he also he has also has the he has uh, 10 characters phone card 12 characters other card number 10 correct 10 length is a phone number so the lengths are same for him also the length is same for second second person also again 32 like that so now the length of the file length of the file is 32 what does mean so length of the file is nothing but in each record i can store right maximum of 32 characters minimum one character as up to you we specified only 30 characters are you getting my point so or i can call as a record length what is the record length so the correct word is record length how many characters i can store in a record 32 are you clear team what base what what basis uh, you know to decide 32 depends on my field so now in our mainframe terminology this is a one field this is other card is another field and phone number is a for another field so when i when i want to keep three fields data for each one it should it require 32 are you clear yes or no so now yes clear uh, 32 we are supposed to give in the record length so we are not writing blindly with a logical way we are writing 32 what is the record length 32 which means that in each record in a each row i can store 32 characters right so next if i want to store 10 uh, persons details how many characters it going to take what is the space i am logical question team is thinking only you have to think just okay I need, to characters. Store, I need to store 10 uh, persons details in the file yes what basis so i want to 32 characters bytes how many bytes 32 bytes for each person if i want to store 10 persons into 10 persons into 32 p20 if i want to store uh, 100 100 persons details 32 so it will be a 3200 now how you are going to specify these values now you want to store the data in the bytes give a bytes so team this is very very important if you understand these parameters jcl is going to become very dead easy for you because we are referring in jcl also same parameters okay let me spend some time again on here
space units. So I want to allocate the space in the kilobytes. You know, right? If you take an example team movie, if you take a movie, approximately each movie, how much space is going to occupy? Tell me the answer. 1.5 GB, 2 GB, minimal to minimal, right? 2 GB you take. So, you are deciding how much data is going to occupy for that particular movie. Similarly, now we have a such a requirement. I want to store 10 customer details, 10 persons details. So, each record 32 bytes. So, I will give a bytes and I will give 3 to 0. What does mean 3 to 0? Is it a kilobytes? Is it that 320 liters? 320 cages? Or 320 tracks? How it is going to decide? The, the How you need to form like this. So 320 bytes you are allocating for this particular file physically on this volume. I am repeating. 32, okay. 320 bytes. 320 bytes. How we are saying bytes because I allocated like this. 320 bytes I am going to allocate on this for this data set for this data set on this volume. If I change KB I am going to allocate 320 kilobytes on this particular file for this file on this volume. So primary quantity is the one how much physical space you want to allocate 2 GB memory? I need a 2 GB. See, uh, I'll take an example. Okay, two, they will ask you, right, when you are buying a mobile, you'll, there are different prices are there. Why the price, different prices? Okay, depends on the, your hard disk capacity, your SSD, SD card, right? In your mobile, there is a storage. Okay, so they will say that 8 GB RAM, uh, 256 or 100 256 how much space is going to occupy right so you will decide based on your data okay same here also you need to decide based on your data space units you have to allocate kilobytes are cylinders and that we'll see what is cylinder what is a tracks what is a block size but for time being we'll go with the simple one so kilobytes how many kilobytes you are allocating 320 kilobytes okay so secondary quantity when the primary quantity is utilized still if you want to any additional space then you can allocate the secondary quantity secondary quantity is required you want additional space after utilizing the primary quantity like a buffer space buffer okay backup for that you can use a two secondary quantity are you clear so far four things i covered volume serial space units primary quantity and record length yes sir So, then after team, what we do, 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 do here, right? Yeah. Are you creating a PS file or PDS file? What you are trying to decide? I am planning to create a PS file, not based on this name. Name can be anything, right? I want to create a PS file. So, keep zero for sequential data set. So, here this screen is valid for PS and PDS. For PS, it should be a zero. For sequential file, okay, directory block should be a zero. If it is a partitioned data set, it should be a one, two, and so on. We will discuss that eventually later. So I'll give directory blocks zero, which means that I am going to create a sequential file. So record format we will see later. Block size give multiple of record length. If I give a 32, 
valid is 64. Okay, 64 is valid. 320, you know, it, it is divided by 32 or not? 320 divided by 32 is possible or not? 32 into 10, 320. 32 into 2, 64. Like that, you can give multiply of record length. Okay, what is the use of it? We'll see later. Then there is a more plus is there. Press F8. So it should be a data set name type. It should be a blank if you are creating a sequential file. Data set name type. It should be a blank if you are creating a PDS file. Sorry, sorry. If you are creating a PS file, it should be a blank. Yeah. So we provided all mandatory parameters. Hit the enter. And you can see data set allocated. Yeah. Any queries? Uh, record format will be seen later, right? Yes, yes. We will see record format later. Any queries team? Yeah, that's all for today. Yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, if you have any queries, you can ask me.